the world's most advanced cold wallet for the new generation of cryptocurrency lovers. So if you are interested in buying this decent wallet, you can find a link in the description down below where you will get a 20% discount. Thank you very much and let's dig in the video. What's up XRP family? Thank you guys for joining the video. Let's dig in right away. So here we have Gary Gensler admitting they can tailor disclosure requirements specific to crypto, not treating crypto as a stock offering, yet still giving investors basic information. Sounds like Ripple is making progress. Now, my my bet is that this this whole lawsuit will really provide a kind of blueprint for other cryptocurrencies what they need to have as a blueprint to be able um to be regulated and not seem as a security right so i think ripple will be the blueprint for future crypto companies but for that to happen there has to be some kind of a long lawsuit and and a lot of problems a lot of debate right which is which is happening so i think ripple is definitely making progress but it's just funny that they went after ripple right because why go after ripple which is a company who is actually the most or or the best in 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 the cryptocurrency space in terms of having everything sorted out having all the right rules having everything done right Ripple is probably the most, the worst company to go after, to try and win from, right? Which is actually explaining why they went after Ripple. It's exactly because of that. It's because they need a blueprint. The financial system is changing and they need an, an example as uh, Ripple. So let's take a look what Gary Gensler is saying here. Be open to applying the rules that apply to the equity disclosure regime to crypto rather than coming up with a whole new rule book? No, I'm, I'm actually saying something a little different, Jennifer. I think that just as there's a difference between maybe asset backed securities and an equity offering, there may be differences here as well. And so the public benefits by knowing full and fair disclosure and that somebody's not lying to them you know basic protections and whether you're buying a crypto token or you're buying a security such as equities or a security such as an asset-backed security those basic disclosures because we in america let investors take risk you get to decide what risk you want to take but the person raising the money and selling you those uh, financial assets ought to not defraud you, ought to give you the information so you can make your decisions. Very funny because they went after Ripple, which is which has like the most utility of all the cryptocurrencies you can guess, right? So it's like you can see that they're be lying open to and applying, not being fully honest. And here you can see again. The correct way to report this would be to tell your readers that the SEC lied for over a year by saying the Bill Hinman Ethereum free pass speech was his personal opinion and also hid the emails that would prove it costing Ripple over $100 million in legal fees, right? So here you can see Brett Gollinghouse talking about that. The headline for me is I feel like it looks good in large part. I think it's very clear and the more that has come out, the facts are on our side. And I think it's very more and more clear the law is on our side. But we have spent, I mean, one of the things when this is all said and done, I mean, we will have spent over $100 million on legal fees fighting the SEC. Mm. And it, the, the, the dynamic there is, in my opinion, the SEC bullies companies into settlements because they can't afford to fight. And the reason why I think this fight is so important isn't just for Ripple, it's really for the whole industry. It was literally four years ago this week that Bill Hinman, the Director of Corporate Finance at the United States Securities and Exchange Commission, gave a speech saying that ETH was not a security. And by the way, let me be clear, I do not think ETH is a security, I don't think XRP is a security. But at the time we viewed this as, isn't it great that four years ago we're starting to provide some leadership and some clarity. And I viewed this as actually a very positive sign. I remember there's emails, which you know, now the SEC has read from our internal documents where I sent the team a note saying, hey, this is great news. We now have clarity of how the SEC is thinking about this. And they used some parameters around you know, decentralization and what have you. And look, it, it, the fact that four years have gone by and we still 
don't have clarity about how the SEC is going to say what is and is not a security. It worse, actually, now the SEC, the current chair, Gensler, is really walking back the statement around ETH and that he has been asked directly, is ETH a security? He won't answer the question. Like, how can we be competitive in the United States in an industry where the pri a primary regulator will not provide that clarity? Very, very easy to see that actually Gary Gensler is not being honest with investors, which is why the SEC exists. They have to provide full disclosure and they have to show that they're truly honest in protecting investors. Yet they went after Ripple, the best company, instead of going after Celsius or other companies which are like a fraud. And you can clearly see that they're lying. Why am I bullish on XRP? When I look at this, all I can see is Ripple and think of XRP. The train has left the station. Do you have a ticket? We are very, very close, guys. The, the financial system is changing. I've been saying this so many times. Even Rosie Royos, co-host of Unicorn Hunters, has said all of this before. The train has left the station, right? But people are just sleeping. And that's the whole point. Now, you can see fiat currencies will very soon, guys, be worthless. It's not every day you get a response from David Schwartz. So this was actually about David not taking XRP and actually choosing to take stock. The jury is still out, but it probably turned out to be a pretty big mistake. A number that was thrown around was 500 million XRP. And of course, XRP is nearly perfectly liquid. But just to be clear, that wasn't really the choice that I was confronted with. It was more about taking XRP or a salary in the early days. And I needed the money then. Once XRP was on exchanges, I could just buy it. So really no reason to get it from Ripple. Just his response on not choosing to be paid in Ripple. XRP, it's one of the few cryptocurrency options out there that was incredible and legitimate use. Now, this is exactly what I'm telling you. The SEC went after a company with one of the best use cases for cryptocurrencies. XRP is one of the few cryptocurrencies options out there that has incredible and legitimate use. So financial institutions use it to settle cross-border payments, right? So this is all a big show, guys, to just show you that they're in some kind of bad place, which they are not. Because Ripple is clearly winning. Ripple is very well adversed in this time of 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 this year so they will definitely win this lawsuit which is all just a show guys to actually start regulating cryptocurrencies now that jet has finally sold the last of his xrp it has been estimated that he has earned a total of 3.09 billion and 708 btc since 2014 most of his sales occurred after the sec lawsuit against ripple Two and a half billion was cashed out after 22nd of December 2020. This is all still a big mystery, guys, to how and why and when he is out of XRP. Finally, the moment has come. Jed McCallop officially has not zero, but he has like 50 XRP on his Teco stand account, which is nothing. He sold everything. It's over. So it will trigger some kind of event guys so stay focused i don't think the bull market has started as of a long a lot of people think it has it's just a back run it's just a bait i think that we will still see lower prices according to this article david schwartz chose ripple stock instead of xrp so you can see again i just showed you why he wanted um money instead of the ripple uh, instead of XRP. So whale stats showed that XRP has suddenly risen as one of the most used smart contract tokens. It noted that this trend has persisted over the last 24 hours among the 1,500 BSC whales. Now let's get into this article very quick because this is quite interesting guys. Smart contracts are not that long around here for XRP and still it is used the most uh, till now. So it's quite interesting. There has been a, a long ongoing lawsuit between Ripple and the United States Securities Exchange Commission. Throughout the case, Ripple's native has not seen many progressive growth. The stagnation in its price move has lingered even before the emergence of the extreme crypto winter. Now, 
here you can see xrp has shown more stability i mean the collapse in the broader crypto space which is true but it also didn't have a big bull run we also showed that xrp has suddenly risen as one of the most used smart contract tokens it noted that its trends has persisted over the last 24 hours among the 1500 bsc whales also the record from the firm display that the top 2000 huge investors in on bsc hold large xrp tokens worth about 15 million dollars following the announcement of the long-running lawsuit between ripple and sec the hike in the whale activities for xrp heightened so whales listen guys whales you always follow what the whales do because these are people who understand the game they understand exactly when to buy and when to sell like not every will but most of them know what they are doing right and they have been accumulating so much in these past couple of months which is crazy right so that is exactly what you have to do you have to do the same because there is a big move ahead and it can still happen for xrp thank you very much for watching this video guys see you in the next one cheers